2009 was the odd game out from the Cowboys' last one in Auckland. We're underway. Monday football. A rare event here at Mount Smart Stadium. And Scott with a first run. Straight away locks horns with Sam Rapira. The front row rotation to be one of the real highlights today. No question of that. And Scott Moore with a second little dart out of dummy half for only five metres. And now Tamo is ready. And up and over the 30 metre line. And Mateo got interested as third or virtually fourth man into the tackle. Very flat pass on to Scott. Bordering on forward there. No momentum on the play though from the Origin and Test front rower. Just short of the 40 metre line. Their first set and Thurston will kick before the last. He was knocked over. But uh, play on is the call. And young Lamarpe comes up with it. And I've got to say, he really did handle himself well last week. Energy is all about the game of young Nani. Harold, good charge up the middle, good pressure. It was from Mateo on the kick of Thurston. Our friend on to Mennery, and they keep it tight and straight away into the Cowboys half in their first set. 40 metres away from the North Queensland line, and they're set left with Lulaway out the back for Johnson. Steadies it up and goes short. Mateo's offloaded. Johnson's got it. Keeps it going along the line. Now there's a big chance five metres away. And it was all hands on deck with Tal Malolo getting across to make the tackle. Close call here. Johnson goes short. They're only five metres from the line, and Rapira will be called to play it. Friend, it was a quick play, the ball, Lillowise decided to kick. It came off the boot like it was out of a cannon. That's an anti-climax in a 20-metre restart. Poor kick after a beautiful start. The first set of six in field position, and the offload from Mateo. What a surprise. Johnson picks it up and shifts it wide. Tupu sums it up, pushes himself infield. And as they come back to the middle of the post, a kick from Lulawai. He hit it like a rocket, far too hard. Poor finish. Yeah, uh, an offload from Mateo is now the Cowboys work it back. Fifa Lua's come in looking for work, but Mateo without an offload last week against the Sharks, and that is extremely rare. And now Cooper, big strider, onto a Thurston pass, scooped up by JT. He's off and running. The Thurston show is uh, now showing, and here is Johnson. 15 metres away from the Warriors' line, last tackle. They're short here. They run it, they score, they decide to kick Morgan. And the Warriors cover up with Tupo, but I reckon that goes through the hands, draw and pass, and the Cowboys score. Isn't it fantastic? First, and he says, you can attack. Well, watch this, I can attack too. First, he put a player through a hole on the left, and then he found Dallas Johnson on the right, threw a skip pass to him. And after the quick play of the ball, Morgan decides to get himself involved, and his kick is perfect. In behind, Tupu doubles back. So now a little bit of pressure for the Warriors. What a start. Yeah, chances at both ends, and we're only three minutes into the contest. So Johnson with a wobbly old line dropout that takes the right-hand turn and is gathered in by Cooper. So almost a, a great result for the Warriors halfback. Cowboys start this set 35 metres away from the Warriors line. Winterstein, Centerfield, Auckland born in the back line for the Cowboys today. Now Scott playing it very tight. And friend is around the legs. He will bring a 40-plus tackle count to the Warriors side today. Nathan Friend on return. Here is Johnson to Morgan. Nice hands. And again, the Warriors defence under pressure. With uh, young Tal Malolo not getting to his feet to play it, but allowed to continue. He was on one knee, I thought. Right on the goal line, the Cowboys. Last tackle again. This back-to-back -back sets for the visitors. Away for oh, Thurston, dabs it there, and Locke has done extremely well. Cooper just could not get down as low as Kevin Locke can. Brilliant work from Kevin Locke, and he brings the ball out to the 30, trying to catch the cows napping. Great kick from Jonathan Thurston, under pressure as well. And Kevin Locke comes up with a safe play. Tal Malolo on the right for the Cowboys has got a line for Johnson. Keep an eye on it this half. Yeah, and you talk about your test trials. Tal Malolo looking to send out a message as a real bolter for the New Zealand test side. As here is Johnson. Cannibal two plays away. Five, five, well, they get across. He's offloaded. Now Nelson with it. Great attacking promise from both teams we're seeing here. To centre field they come. And Mateo, Mateo has a real spring in his step to start the game today. 
back in the starting side. Last tackle this time with the Warriors and going short side. Now Johnson, he's found the grass, but he's also found touch in goal. And a second 20 metre restart for the Cowboys today. So the execution of both halves so far, providing long balls for their outside backs, making plenty of yards. Tupo down the flank for the second time. End to end stuff. So North Queensland have possession. The team knocked out in week two of the finals last year. By Manly it was. And then opening with one win from three matches forward, the call. And well, it was a combined chorus of 10,000 calls of forward there. And the sideline officials and referees agree. So and after, an opportunity for the Warriors. After going to the open, Moore decides to we'll skip one back to his captain. Well, it's almost a bit of forward, Daryl, isn't it? Because Thurston was pretty close to standing in front of Scott Moore on that short side. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Coming from Castleford and St Helens. Now just joining oh, so, up in the North so Queensland. He's just adjusting his compass. He's, what, the, the water goes down right. the sink in an opposite right, direction? North Queensland from the middle of England. It's taken him two months to acclimatise. Right. OK. So friend at lock at that scrum, and Lock has got the ball. Just some... Some encouraging sights to see Locke come up with a big play early, to see Matteo do the same, to see Johnson put a stamp early. And this from a team that hasn't scored a first half point this year. Now, friend to Johnson, 25 metres out, nice pump of the ball. There for the line. So, one stepping got in past Cooper. Friend on the back, but good play the ball. Here's Larry. That is a try saving tackle there from Morgan. The halfback put his body on the line. Johnson, high ball, tough one for Tupo to catch. He's off road at Johnson again. Now for Mateo. We are seeing some instinctive play for the Warriors for one of the rare times this year. Low eye to Lock. Lock goes inside the mattering. And brutal inside the fence for Moore. Ten from the line. Lock to Lulawai. The bomb will come down close enough to the goal line. And it's been caught by Five Fire Lua of take first so it is not a clean catch it is a line dropout brilliant attack from the Warriors but even better defense from the Cowboys for the Warriors sure the spread of the pass and Mateo with the offloads but Luluai running to the line and going through and then finishing off with the kick and the contest here Tate goes up and gets a hand to it for sure and then knocks it back for any of Warriors around correct decision the Badgers right on the money with that call. And Thurston with a line drop out. And he punts it low downfield, gets a, a good bounce as far as the Cowboys are concerned. And Lilliman, who made his debut for North Queensland 10 years ago, in a Cowboys side that, from memory, had some troubles on his opening night. I think they got absolutely flogged. 30 metres away from the Cowboys line. The Warriors with friend to Lulawai. Here they go. Johnson, the build-up again is good. Well, whatever they've been practising, they've brought it to game day here. Now Rapira with the ball. And this is a good contest early. Cowboys and Warriors. 10 away from the line. Friend out of five. Lulawai there holds and steadies. Johnson has turned them around. Five for Lulawai. He has two or three games at it. He had a hole in the shopping bag. He was losing one tin and a second tin, but then he managed to get out. <laughs> he was nervous, OK? Like walking the dog, and the dog wanted to get away. And here, Johnson, this kick he gets perfect. On the outside, Billy Tupo was a little bit back and couldn't get quite enough pressure on him. But Fifola, he held his ground. Who's going to be the first team to break here? High quality, isn't it? Just the, the one error. And that the forward pass from the Cowboys. Warriors getting through their sets here. 100% record is now the Mape is lifted up and three in the tackle. Just 19 years of age on the right wing for the Warriors here. And this time Lilliman wraps into the entire front row there of the Cowboys. Now 23 metres away from the line of North Queensland. Lulawai, Johnson, that may have been forward it was. He thought about going long, he then went short to Matteo, and uh, the Warriors have their first error. It's a good call as well. Sean Johnson just over-reading this one. Rudy Matteo just in front of him, got there too early. 
ball runners fault possibly. I was wondering what other attack the Warriors had early in this first half because they've been peppering Fai Fai Lowe's side for the Cowboys with the little kicks in behind on the last play. And I wondered if Lau Mappy on the right was an option and for them to deliver something down the side of Nelson as well. And Hurrell. So from the scrum win, North Queensland possession. Both teams have had to weather a bit of defensive hit early. Terrible ball there, just rolls into the hands of Cooper. But uh, both coaches will take a little bit out of defence inside their own 20 early. Pressure felt both ways. And Cowboys in possession on their 30. A slow block play the ball came from Moore. And this is Tamo. Three origins and two test matches last year for James. 42 metres out, and now he's been pushed over as he played it. And just play on as the call. Looking for an Oscar. He won't get an award. It was slow motion stuff. Big James falling onto his backside. And now Thur oh, Thurston's kick has been blocked. He's picked it up. Play on. Tackle Cowboy starts. Tomo almost passed off the deck. 35 metres away from the line. And now Bowen. Look out. The alarm goes off. And Long breaks a classic tackle on Bowen. 15 away from the line. Thurston with it. Right up to the 10. There's trouble. There's Morgan. Out to Fafa. Long dives. And I reckon he scored. We saw Jason Nightingale Saturday night produce a marvellous acrobatic effort to score for the Dragons. And here, Fifi Law has done the same for the Cowboys. Well, he's been under a little bit of pressure, and he comes up as the first try scorer. But the Cowboys caught the Warriors napping here. Thurston had some pressure on to get the kick away, and they do marvellously well as Rapira, but then they clock off. And from here, Thurston picks up the ball and fires it to Tamo. And then the one they call Mango comes into the play next. And he just scoots from dummy half and goes right to the middle before Thurston delivers a pass to Morgan. The skip pass to Fai Fai Lower. Yes, acrobats are there. And it is a marvellous inclusion in this game that the corner post doesn't play a part for our wingers and a fine try. Oh, just sensational, the dive. Well, when they finally got around to altering the rule, I remember interviewing Hazem El Masri, who, by the way, turns 37 today. Oh, Hazem El Magic. He said, you will see wingers jumping, leaping from 10 metres away from the line. He may have been exaggerating, but not by much. I like the fact that they back themselves. And if the collision in the corner comes below the waist, it's just their legs that are flicked around, so therefore their torso stays in the field of play. And some of these guys have got arms like orangutans, and they know where to put the ball down. Brilliant stuff. And yeah, talking about your goal kickers from Hazem El Masri. They're 37 today. He's, uh, his lone test match in the great career of Hazem was here in New Zealand, 2002. But uh, here we go over to Jonathan Thurston. Career success rate. 79% and his first kick is a long way back he's taken it back around about 27 metres right on the touchline here at Mount Smart and Thurston's first kick is successful how good is he and Cowboys lead the Warriors by six points to nil a marvellous kick by Fylo the try scorer but both teams attack in every time they have the football. Yards on offer up through the middle, and then the skills to finish up on the outside. Just magical. Only had the six games in first grade last year, Popo Law. And that after his, uh, his big year, 2011, when he played a couple of test matches for the Kiwis. Spent more time in the Intra Super Cup in Queensland last year than the NRL. So Scott got the ball for the Cowboys and after a promising start from the Warriors, they weren't able to turn that into points and they now find themselves down by the converted try through the first 14 minutes. And that's a, that's a bitter pill to swallow as now Moore sends them away. Johnson is with it. Thurston is looming, but Mannering came in cover. Locke probably did enough to take the edge off. Here's Thurston on for Bowen. There's trouble here left side. It comes out to Winterstone. He straightens back in field and spun to the ground. Under the pump here, the Warriors. They need to regroup and regroup quickly. Tamo to set a field. And uh, able to hold his progress for Pira with Lowry and Mateo. But the Cowboys just like that, 15 metres away. And now getting a penalty. And it's a soft one, really, from Lowry. Wait, wait. 
Tough call for the Warriors. Deepen the tackle count and deepen their own end as well. Thinking about the quick one as we've seen so often in the last couple of weeks. Bust from Johnson straight through the middle. I like the work of Scott. Now, Jonathan Thurston decides that he'd give his team a breather. And the Warriors as well are pretty much under the pump. They charge up through the middle. And Dallas Johnson it is, who sets sail for the dry line. That had been Bowen. It might have been in big trouble, the Warriors. Mannering comes over the top. Then they continue to play on. And here, this will be where the penalty comes on. Tamo with a good fight to play the football. Made good metres already. His sixth hit-up of the match. And a hand on the ball from Todd Lowry. Well, after converting one from touch with a fine strike for his first kick, Jonathan Thurston. I think this will be easy pickings. The headgear that Jonathan Thurston is wearing will be uh, owned by one of the locals here at the ground. Come full time tonight. This is uh, JT's tradition. And this for two from two for North Queensland. And they will be delighted to lead 8-0 after such a keenly contested opening to the match. 8-0 to North Queensland. First half here is a round four match. Monday football. And a double header in Monday football with the Roosters to play the Eels later on. Plenty of changes here for both sides with the starting lineups. So the likes of Matalino coming off the bench today. Elijah Taylor there as well. Means the coach of the Warriors got a plan in terms of Matt Elliott and also with the Cowboys. They've had some changes. Camelolo on. Paul off. So Johnson with a restart here for the Warriors. And a bit of a possession flow going the way of the Cowboys right now. Warriors defence looked a little bit brittle in that previous set. Scott the man tackled 18 metres out from his own line by Lilliman. Taking off as Kane Lennon. Outside of the 20. They've slipped into gear here, the Cowboys. Morgan doing his job alongside of the likes of Thurston and Bowen. Moore's been impressive, the hooker. And uh, more this time going back to centre field for Johnson. Lowry there to wrap him up. He got a couple of hard working lock forwards opposed in this match today. Here's another run for Moore. Tackled five inside his own half. Last tackle, Rapira. Could have got pinged for the leg pull, maybe. Thurston finds the grass with a kick and gets a, a very healthy roll on. Locked from his own end goal. And Kevin Lock wrapped up 10 metres out from the line. A good set from the Cowboys. Well, it's only taken nearly 18 minutes, but really the first conventional set of football for the Cowboys. A couple of hit-ups through the middle, position himself on the right, and then kick him between the winger and fullback. It's the Cowboys side that's conceded 66 points in the last two weeks in those losses to the Knights. And Melbourne, so you don't reckon they've got a, uh, a case to present here. Big improvement expected of them. And this is Lilliman working the left side of the ruck, but a, a lovely tackle low down again by the halfback Morgan, who's doing his job here. Now Johnson with it, thought kick, then maybe run, and then decided to kick. Bowen made that look easy. Five metres out from his own line. Matty Bowen comes into this game with 124 career tries next to his name, 10 of them have been against the Warriors. I thought in that hit-up, he thought he was 110 kilos. Don't you love it when the little guys on the field just line someone up and run directly at them? Unexpected. Need good speed. Let it tackled there by Lulawai. And now more to centre field. And uh, the hard work done again by Matthew Scott. They have Hall, Bolton and Sims and Cost Jason to come off the bench here. The Cowboys. Thurston along for Morgan. He was always going to be a tough carry if he catches it. They hit this player pretty well, the Cowboys. The final execution to Tatey sees the ball spilled. But they had the Warriors where they wanted them. They had them facing the sideline. And Sean Johnson and Bill Tufu are the only players out there. They got themselves in the road of the pass, which saves the day. But they're going to make some decisions being made on that left-hand edge for the Warriors. More work coming. Good player, isn't he? This uh, Morgan, who we saw 
round 23 last year against the Warriors. That was probably his career best game up to that point. And then we saw him get a hat trick in the final series as well. What a thrill for the young black to play alongside of Thurston. And of course, coming back from a broken jaw as well. But sometimes you can be overawed by playing alongside a great player and you let your own game slip. Not the case for this young man. So Nielsen has a chance. Crowd weren't happy with uh, the markers being offside there. Nathan Friend on his return from that shoulder problem today. Here is Lowry. That means that Elijah Taylor won't be called on to be a dummy half roll at any stage today. Got it, still coming off the bench. Johnson runs. Johnson in one side and out the other. He beat Dallas Johnson, which doesn't happen too often. That's Johnson and Johnson. As Hull doesn't handle. It's into the hands of Thurston. Ankle tapped. Got it away. Now with us time. Trips over the 30-metre line. Quick turnover. Cowboys almost away. Bowen on to Tamo. Tamo is five metres inside his own half. Disappointing the first time they really attack the right-hand side and Harold puts the ball down. The Cowboys play on and attack to attack. A good tackle from Lau Mepi stops the date. Scott Morgan. Morgan right up to the line and then taken down in the Lowry tackle. North Queensland 30 metres away, leading by eight points to nil. Coming up with the first try to Khalifa Faifai Lua and Thurston two from two. Monday footy here at Mount Smart. Thurston, well, he ran and then thought of passing, but his outside bend had almost overrun him. It would have been a forward ball. Now Bowen will kick and send with a stun and let it coming through. Up goes Lock. This is anyone. Oh, Bowen has knocked it on. But they will call knock on against the Warriors first for a line dropout. But Bowen just attacked that football. If he gathers it in, it's a second try to North Queensland. Such a luxury to have a player like this as your custodian in Bowen. Thurston had given the show and go on the left, but the Warriors were up to it. And their three Warriors wrap up Thurston. So that took them out of play. But the kick was put in by Bowen, who chasing up and follows at it. Hits it with the knee. Just hoping to get it in the palms. Let's go, boys. Stay behind. Deemed that the Warriors have propelled the ball forward first. Yeah, I, I think Bowen, the way that he, he reacted that, he thought he scores there. Anyway, they get another chance to apply pressure on the Warriors' goal line. This is 30 out, and a Cooper on that left side of the ruck. Warriors were getting Henry ready to come on, and uh, Matalino as well as ball. They go short side to Linnet, taken front on there by Rapira, who found himself at centre there, the front rower. Ten from the line, Moore to centre field for Cooper. Turn and pass for Thurston. Thurston, the ball's on the deck. That's been knocked on by the Warriors. Play on for Tamo. Tamo's got the ball. Referee spot on with a call. And the Cowboys have possession. 11 metres away from the line. Still pressure against the Warriors' side. As Scott Bolton with his first touch. And uh, there'll be a penalty for a hand around the ball. Well, they are consistent in that area. As Bolton was looking for a quick play the ball. So just... Plenty of possession, Tamo again. And Tamo only a few metres away from the line. And a, a, a few soft penalty tap tries this year. That could have been another if the Warriors' defence wasn't ready. Snappy work here. First down, oh, and the Mape had a chance to carry it 85 metres. Cowboys have possession. Tackle count restarts. Cooper's with it. Nine away from the line. Not run out of fingers now to count how many tackles they've had to defend here. In succession. Now Bowen goes short and Leonard. Good tackle. Just three metres away from the line. That was from Lulawai. Moore to Thurston. Thurston holds it up. They look just a little bit jumpy here, the Cowboys. They settle down. They probably get a result. Bolden was tackled that time. Moore to Thurston. Thurston turns. Morgan Bowen. Beautiful takes. Take scores for North Queensland. Real hot potato stuff from the Cowboys and 8-0 becomes 12. Just too much possession down here for the Warriors to hold out defensively on their game but the execution of this from the Cowboys in the quick hands. Thurston, he's playing what's in front of him. Nearly an intercept on the left as he throws a huge speculator out here. And Lau Maffey 
was she was six inches taller. He might have caught that and raced. And then off the back of it, watch her hands here. First and first. Then they shifted. Morgan Bowen onto Tate. And Tate's got a free reign to the line. Five by lower outside him as well. The start of the possession was a loose pass from the Cowboys, which Valeria Mateo failed to dive on and handed an extra set of six to the Cowboys. Well, it's going to be a significant triumph in the career of that man on screen and uh, in his first grade career. Three seasons here at the Warriors, of course, but in a few weeks' time, he will hit 200 first grade games. And when you consider the serious injuries he's had to contend with along the way, the neck problem, which almost finished the career in his early 20s, and then the knee reconstructions as well, Brent Tate. That's going to be some celebration to get to 200 first grade games, not to mention the test matches and origins he's played along the way. Not a small man as Brent Tate, but a player that always runs a direct line. And in the land of giants these days, he sometimes come off second best. His body has stood up to it particularly well, only just at times, but he only knows one way. Well, it's three knee recos in his career and the, and the serious neck problem. But still, what a stellar resume with a test and origin success as Thurston looking for three from three. Big swing on that one. And uh, misses the green. But the score is 12-0. And yes, there are some Cowboys fans here in Auckland. They're lost, but they're here. And the Cowboys lead 12-0. Important passage of play coming up for the Warriors as we see the try again. And it was beautiful execution. Numbers caught out short. Johnson defending on the wing. Tupu had already been caught in field. Always a worry with the good work early from the Warriors. They couldn't convert it to any points on the board. And now two converted tries down. Henry is out there. Madalino is out there for the Warriors. And this is Cooper from the kickoff. And Mattering and Lowry combine to push him back to 12 metres away from the North Queensland line. And uh, Bolton with the ball. One of those players that is in a long list of back rowers that Neil Henry can call on. Glenn Hall also on now with the ball. Up to the 30 metre line. But possession stake's been very heavy in the Cowboys' favour over the last five to ten minutes. In fact, by our count, we've got the Cowboys up around 67% of possession so far in the game. Locke has pulled his hand and he's put away from that one. And wouldn't you know it, Thurston has pulled it up short of the dead ball line. Oh, what a kick and what a result. Almost the line dropout. When things are going your way, they go your way, don't they? Kevin Locke decides to let that ball slide through. See it pull up a metre short. Hurrell leads with the shoulder and the hip. And half the set completed and only now the Cowboys finding a Warriors attacking line back on side. That is tackle four. Warriors just outside their 20. This is a hard set. 12 minutes remain first half. Madalino with the ball. I don't think I know it's a 17-man game these days, but I don't think Madalino would have taken too kindly to, to finding himself starting off the bench here today. So he has a case to prove and Johnson's kick gathered in there by Winterstein. Winterstein looking to go on the outside of Hurrell. You just get a real sense that there was a little bit of the pace of the play the ball that's left the Warriors there. I'm sure they've done a lot of defence, but let's watch this set of six and see if the pace of the play the ball here for the Cowboys is still up because they've been at an incredible work rate so far. Light sailing now starting to take a bit of an effect here at Mount Smart. Been lovely weather here today, around about 25 degrees. It was warm conditions, really, for the Holden Cup match, won by the Warriors, and the Vulcans with a draw earlier as Thurston. Oh, Morgan's put it down. Then he's taken a stab at it with a boot. Neither was all that flash. Good player has been Henry. Picks it up, quick play the ball. Moore's off. Cox Jason will be playing nine for the Cowboys now. So the ex-Melbourne Storm player onto the football field. A strong charge, Medellino. 45 metres away from the line. And a penalty goes the way of the Warriors. The crowd lifts. They have a role to play here. 11 minutes out from half time. Their first penalty for the match as well. I've liked their attack when they've got down this end of the football field. It's somewhat been unstructured, but there's been a lot of ball movement and it's had some pace about it. Ben Matalino 
well, he charges to the line, and Nilsson drops off. He's got his arm free. No real support, no players pushing up around him. So Warriors with the ball, still chasing a first first half point for the year. Little white, good hands. Then Locke was stepping, but they had hold of him. That was cost Jason. Now Lowry with it. A bit of a, uh, a shuffle, if you like. Eight metres away from the North Queensland line. 12-0 to the Cowboys. 10 out from half-time. Friend goes left. Nice build-up. Johnson stepping and runs into Bowen. Johnson, Hall, they are all there to stop the Warriors half-back. Now Friend to Lillewai. On it comes, Mettering. Back to Lillewai. The dummy, Lillewai! Tried to stretch out, couldn't get there. They can't find Conrad Hull on that right side. He may as well be the invisible man. The kick will come from Mateo. Almost hits the upright, but too deep. And Tater's with it. And a 20-metre restart is the result. They better watch out. They've not done anything here. Five, five, hour off here. The kick from Mateo had no chases on it at all. And both halves had been used up. Johnson went close on the left. And then a double round for Lulu. I saw him on the right. Disappointing in to an attacking set of six. Cowboys now counter back up to the 40, and Kost Jason gets the rolling forward with Tal Malolo. Almost a halfway. Here it is going right. I thought the ball was coming the way of Harold. Lulawai then saw an opportunity, and Harold doesn't get his hands on the footy. The wraparound. When's the last time we've seen that? Shades of Stacey Jones. Kost Jason. Last tackle, Cowboys, but in this set, they've got within 25 of the line. Thurston's going to pressure them with a high ball out towards the wing. Harrell and Lamarpe under pressure. Lamarpe has got it. It slipped all the way down to his right pocket. But he pulled it out of there. Like a little pocket rocket, wouldn't he? Little man gets high in the air, suspends himself up there. Come up with a good take. And now Mannering with it. Well, on Dubu last week, Lamarpe on this uh, right wing. No no warrior player ran for more metres than he did against the Sharks. So he, he, had, had, a, he had a real dig. Warriors with the ball. Madalino playing at 10 short of halfway. Johnson's going to kick from inside the 40. Got another 40-20 last week. He's got a lot on this. He's got a lot on it. And it bounces left. And over the head of far, far lower. Have you ever seen that? Sean Johnson from the 40, got it to the 10, made it come back to the 15 and over the sideline. He set the kick this down the right. Have a look there, he's going right. Then he hooks it back towards the left. Now there's nothing Five Five Lara can do because the kick is so high that the impact of the ball coming down is going to bounce anywhere. So it gets a spin on it, heads towards the sideline. Both Mango, Bowen and... Fai Fai Lau look at each other and say, hey, nothing we can do about that. Johnson gets his third 40-20 for the year. Third in four weeks. That's impressive. But now the Warriors need to convert on it. They got two in the first 20 last week against the Sharks. Came up with zero. Friend on the lock. Takes a run at them. And it is uh, turned and rolled back by Morgan and Tate. 12-0 to the Cowboys. Nielsen to centre field by Cam Henry. On to Lowry. Decides to run. And still they can't get it out to right centre. Hurrell. He just can't get his hands on it. Now Friend on to Madalino. Takes a charge. Bull like at Johnson. Johnson makes the tackle. He's 21st of the first half. Johnson now. Sean Johnson, that is. Lillewai. This time, like Harold does get a hand to it, but nothing more. Play on for Thurston. Thurston's knocked it on. Now, hang on. Is that advantage? He definitely kicked deliberately downfield. But will they go back and say first knock on against the Warriors? The, the kick, if you know what I mean, Daryl, was of an attacking nature. Was that taking the advantage? They're going to say no. Well, I was watching so the decision of Henry Perinara here as the ball's lost. Done so well, the Cowboys' defence to come up and block that play. And <laughs> Jonathan Thurston know that he's given up a great opportunity here. There is a play here that they're questioning, and is there a shoulder charge coming up? Possibly in back play that we don't see. You don't see Jonathan Thurston do that too often, do you? He sort of like picked yeah, it up before he's had it. There's the shoulder charge. Winterstein on Hurrell after he turned it over. He gave him all he could with his right shoulder. You see my technical argument there about Thurston. That was a deliberate kick 
to take advantage around the defender. And the fact that he didn't capitalise on that is not the Warriors' fault. He had taken his advantage. He elected to kick it. People in the crowd here will give you a pink shirt and a whistle. Vossi, you get down there, right? <laughs> uh, my ambition in life. So Cowboys with the ball and cost Jason. It's a good game of football, though, that we're seeing. Cowboys lead 12-0. Twice this year, the Warriors have trailed by 18 at half time. They don't want this to become a third time today. And Tamalolo, 41 metres away from the Warriors' line. And we are now inside the final five of this first half. And away for Morgan to kick high. And Locke is steady. He's got it from the field of play. Now that's got a bit of room to run here. And gets as far as the 20 metre line. Tell Malolo, who's had the full half of footy, makes the tackle. Good charge. And now getting a roll on. Lamape has come in off the right wing and gets to halfway. He will quickly become a crowd hero, the young bloke. This is Nielsen. And uh, just like that, Warriors 40 metres away from the Cowboys line. 12 0 down, and Johnson is going to kick it to the corner. Bowen's going to get across to it. But unlike the Thurston kick, who was able to pull it up inside the dead ball line from 60 metres away, Johnson not having the same luck there. You get a sense that the Cowboys are quite happy to get to their kick at the end of a set of six now, the fact that they're playing in front. And for the Warriors, well, they're just going to play an attacking brand of football for the rest of the game. The kick too long from Johnson. Third time today we've seen the ball roll dead from them. Well, if you told me pre-game that the Cowboys are going to have 60% of the ball in the first half or a little bit more, I would say a 12-0 scoreline is probably a, a fair result, really, that there is still something, still some real hope for Matt Elliott to work on going into the second half. 61% of the ball in this first half has gone the way of the Cowboys, and that's with all their attacking stars. Now, Bowen to Linnett, hit by Lamarpe. And that is tackle five, cost Jason to Thurston. There's a chance to run, he'll kick. And this is out towards the wing of Tupo. Five five laws there, so is Tate. It's been knocked sideways, not on, they say. And that will be a changeover. And the Warriors to have possession. Well, they've already blown the whistle, so Locke can't pick it up and run 70 to score. Wasn't the greatest kick from Jonathan Thurston. Just come off the side of the boot a little bit as it went up. Sort of headed towards the right. The contest on it was good. Billy Tupu's made good yards and had good runs from five efforts, nearly 80 metres. Manu Vadova still sidelined for the Warriors. That injury in round one. And now injury there for Nielsen holding the, the rib cage on the right side. And Warriors have the ball just outside the 30. He's still down, Dane Nielsen. We'll uh, monitor him as Lulawai on it comes. Lock with a hop and a skip. Five short of halfway. Played by the fullback. And Hurrell finally gets to run with the football in this first half. Conrad, Matt Elliott still believes he can be a superstar in the NRL, but just got to find a way to bring him into the game. Don't like Conrad catching the ball at the line. He needs to be given the ball before the line. Hasn't quite acquired that skill yet. This ball bounces. Lulawai's bomb, and then ball five far lower. It was not rather Winterstein knocked it back the way the Warriors, and now the Cowboys coming back on side. Well, let's play on. Now just keep it going. Roll the dice and take your chance. The ball is with Henry. I can't, I can't go back and call what just happened. It was just play on, play on. from the line. Warriors with a chance. Just over a minute remaining first half. Johnson goes short. Is this it? It is. Elijah Taylor has scored for the Warriors and the drought is broken. Hallelujah. The Warriors have a first half point. Hallelujah, Darrell. <laughs> Everyone's sucking in a decent breath here. Points in the first half. Only just, it's what's required though. Interesting passage of play. Down Malolo catches a clean pass in the wrong attacking line from Taylor, who was the try scorer. And then 
as the last play comes, Johnson had been working the left all evening. This time he comes to the right and finds a nice little hole and a direct ball for Elijah Taylor, who's played some hooker and nine on his back, but is a back rower. And he twists and turns, and that's deserved. That's reward for a good first half. Daryl, you're the former winger. You can probably try and come to the defence of Antonio Winterstein, who went up on the bomb for the bat back. The problem was the bat back was back, back to the Warriors. He was he was facing the wrong way. What happened there to the young winger? They are a long way from home. The compass not quite in the right direction. It's an interesting passage of play. We've seen some, what should we say, messy ends to a couple of kicks with Thurston towing the ball ahead. A la Manley the other night with Cherry Evans and his kicking the ball forward as well. Now tap backs players not knowing which way they're going. Yeah, it is Easter. Well, it's 268 days since the Warriors won an NRL game. I'm just trying to quickly work out in my head. It'd be getting close to 200 days since they scored a first half point. Important kick for Sean Johnson, who hasn't been at his best this season. He's been working hard at it. So it's a kick mid-range on the right. Let's see. 19 and a half out. The halftime siren has already sounded here at Mount Smart. And this to get it to six, and he's done it. So... At the end of 40 very entertaining minutes here at Mount Smart Stadium, Monday football, three tries scored. The Cowboys led 12-0, but right on halftime, Taylor scores for the Warriors. We go to the break with the North Queensland Cowboys leading the Warriors by 12 points to six. Yeah, well, a tough one, though, in the context of this match. Down a man, one less on the interchange, and Thurston restarts. Well, looking at Glenn Hall there, he almost got a head start, was ooh, very close to being in front of Thurston on the restart of play. Could have been a, a Warriors penalty just about as Madalino took the first run back. And now the captain with the ball, Mentoring, up and over the 20-metre line. And you talk of the captain, Mentoring, he'll be captain of New Zealand as well. And Sonny Bill has put his hand up. But if his form is good enough, pick me for the test in Canberra in just a few weeks' time. That is a, a huge boost. As Lowry is bent and he's been hurt in the tackle. Oh, this is not good. He's, he's very ginger here, Todd Lowry, right on the 40-metre line. Twisted either an ankle or knee on the right side. A little tough customer is Todd Lowry. The change is right. On the left centre will be Ben Henry and the replacement for Nelson, who won't return in the second half. The grimace there tells the story. Lulawai with the kick downtown. Yeah, Lowry with some luck from the nose as well. There's the man who scored the first try of the day. Here's the Fai Fai Lua with a ball. He came to the starting side for Ash Graham. And uh, the Warriors probably not too disappointed to see Ash Graham out. He's had a, a field day against the Warriors in recent years. A, a hat-trick last year. Ten tries, ten games, in fact, against the Warriors for the Cowboys. Ash Graham as uh, North Queensland with it. And Tal Malolo, he's been quite the handful tonight. And now cost Jason to centre field for Thurston. And on they come with Bolton. And he will play at five short of halfway. No Tarek Sims in that first half. He's been kept fresh for the second. No Godinay yet for the Warriors as Bowen is with the ball. And that is five inside the Warriors half. By the way, Nathan Friend on return from injury. Coming up with 26 tackles so far in the game. As uh, Locke will have to play it right in the corner. Quick to get out of there. Now a crossfield. Now he's in trouble. Johnson, Morgan, he's on his feet. He's in big trouble. He's in massive trouble. He now he's off landed. Boy, oh boy, to Henry. Well, if you're going to let the play play on, then surely you allowed the benefit of an offload. And Kevin Locke, he's brought that ball from the sideline, been drilled between his own posts. Tupo up the middle. Is there a doctor in the house? Send it to Matt Elliott's coaching box right now. <laughs> As Henry gets away from the end goal. And the Hull goes across field. Now Conrad Hull is offloaded. Good run, good offload. Lamape tackled on halfway. Hull is now down. He's been left behind. Another centre is down. Dramatic stuff here at Mount Spark. Friend keeps it alive through the centre. Hull is down outside the Warriors 40. They're down a man. 
Defenders offloaded to Lulawai. The pass over the top. Lamalpais decided to kick. It's going to sit up in goal and Bowen takes it dead. Well, where's this kid been? Where's this football been? From under his own post, Kevin Lott starts that three or four plays ago. And the football will have drifted towards the right-hand side of the football field. Not a noted finisher and kicker of the football. This is Hurrell. He gets to the outside of Thurston and pushes himself through. Lovely offload back on the inside. Does the right thing. Gets up and plays the ball and then chases it. Finds it in his hands again. He gives Bowen a bit of a shove in the back here too and sends him into the hoardings. But that's all just in the competitive spirit of the man. Hurrell is back on his feet. He's uh, not quite right. But he is still on the field as Badalino takes the first one back. 5-1 drop out so far in this match. Friend getting the roll on for Mannering inside the 20 on tackle two. And an early opportunity in the second half for the home team after they scored right on half time. Little eye away to Johnson. Johnson step and Friend and Johnson is over. The confidence is returning for the Warriors. 11 straight losses. There's a long way to go, but suddenly they got a stiff of something good here at Mount Smart. Oh, I know this try has scored on the left by Sean Johnson, but give the try to Nanai Laumapi. His effort for the repeat set of six sees the Warriors come back downtown. Luluai with the no-look, and then the show and go. Jonathan Thurston be proud of it. Nearly ran into his own player, and that was Elijah Taylor, somewhat of a shepherd. But it wasn't called, and the referee straight on the spot delivers it. Great play from Johnson. Lovely left foot step and a shuffle and straightens towards the right. So back in the game. Well, I thought coming into the game, and you watched the Warriors form so far this year, and one thing that was missing was instinctive play. Just reacting to what is suddenly happening and play what's in front of you is a, is a catchphrase in footy. But suddenly that is what they are doing here today when there's a, a half opportunity there. They're throwing out what may have been their, been their plan and just taking it. Just well, go there, with it. Well, there are some structures in amongst that, Vossi. But what I do like is when someone charges to the line a la Hurrell and he looks on the inside and gets an arm loose, that there's someone there to back up. And that has happened many a time here this evening. And we haven't seen a lot of it in the first three rounds of the competition from them. So Johnson, every kick vital. Still fresh in our minds, the missed kick against the Roosters at Eden Park a fortnight ago. That is a, a fair size monkey to shake off his back, I would think, until he gets in that situation again to kick to, to force a game to extra time or, in fact, kick to win. This is for 12 all and Johnson straight down the middle. So from 12 nil down, it is now 12 all in uh, quite the absorbing contest here at Mount Smart in Monday football. So important times in the game to score tries. Five before half-time and five after half-time. Both boxes ticked for the Warriors here this evening. And a blistering run. Sliding through on the inside. Thurston on the restart of play. And Madalino, I said he would look, would be making a point tonight coming off the bench, and he's done exactly that. 10 hit-ups now. He's run for 100 metres in those 10 hit-ups. And uh, that is the most metres made of any Warriors forward out there. So there's lots of stats you can look at now at 12 all, and there's an awful long way to go, 34 minutes still, but the next demon that has to be exercised for the Warriors is their, their efforts inside the final 20 minutes of a game. Eight times scoreless in the final 20 in that run of 11 straight losses. So they do not finish games off well. Today they may need points to win as Johnson will kick from halfway. And he's got angle on it. It skids, it skids, and it finds with a stone. There's lots of chases there. The crowd are rallying here. And the Cowboys know they are in quite the cauldron right now. Energy with the Warriors. A good chase on that kick. And a good set of six as well. Plenty of yards made up through the middle. Johnson, the workhorse for the Cowboys, attack count and leads it. Played by Fifa Law and Thurston takes off, had the markers turn around and Elijah Taylor says, come here, JT. Early hit man, handle him in the tackle. Fifa Law gets another run, five short of halfway, last tackle it is. Wingers only now dropping back, Morgan 
has uh, been a little quiet over the last 10, 15 minutes of this match. Awkward bounce there. Lamape finally gets a handle on it and it needs to straighten up. Wrapped up eight metres away from the line. And that is where the set starts, DJ. Interesting for the Cowboys with more off the field. The Englishman sees Cost Jason play nine. Oh, Sometimes the back an error here. there. An error for the Warriors. Momentum has lost advantage. Cowboys right here. I just mentioned energy. This will sap some of it. Billy Tupu had his best match so far this season. Clocked up nearly 110 metres already. His go-to is getting in and running the ball out of dummy half quickly. This time he gets upended by guess who? Johnson over the top. And the man I was talking about, Cost Jason, who's now playing at hooker. And loses the ball in the impact. Well, this is where you've got to get nervous. A scrum, centre field, 20 out. There's a bloke called Bowen, a bloke called Thurston. Bowen's going to lock here. There's something brewing. Look out. Thurston will work the scrum. Bowen takes them. Open side for Tal Malolo. And tackle one is turned away from the line. So they've had a bit go their way, the Warriors. Now they have to defend. And this ball is with Hall. The Cowboys ready to emerge from their cave here. And there is a nice ball for Thurston. Cut out ball with a side. Angles back in field and with a stone is held up. Only just right on the goal line. Bowen's pass is knocked down. Kept alive there by Cooper. Tackle count is where he started. Warriors claiming they only touched the arm, not the ball. Not the way the referee saw it. So a full set still to go. Cost Jason on there for Cooper. Good tackle, low down, Hurrell there, cost Jason tries, cost Jason can't stretch out. The man of Russian heritage, now to dummy half, that ball's been fumbled. Well, he's got to the line, Leonard. I thought he might have rolled it there, though. No try is the call from Badger, but upstairs will check it. Our video referee, Paul Millor, has to make the decision on this one. Three dabs in a row for the Cowboys on the left after they were stretched to the right with a huge attacking line. And it's Lynette on the third chance here. I thought he might have dived in between the legs of his own player. Looking for confirmation. Let's have a look. Charges down. Well, there's... Now you're looking here for confirmation. No try has been given. The referee has deemed that he's not comfortable with the put down. He's looking for a confirmation upstairs. So let's see if we can find something for him. Step-by-step -step process there. They've made gone very quickly to it. If they rule cost Jason step forward in any shape or form, it's no try. So I'm not 100% sure. They've come back with penalty. So it is for cost Jason, I believe, moving just that one step forward. It's not that he, he touched them, but the, the fact that he just stepped forward created an obstacle for the defence. He had to just get up and play it. Is that the way you see it? Here he is, Cos exactly. Jackson takes one soft step forward and then they burrow into his legs, lin it, and you have a penalty as a result. Uh, not too much objection here from the crowd, Bossy. <laughs> and Warriors have the ball outside the 30. I think on balance, that's the right call. Badger seeing it that way on field and then confirmed by Mellor. They're pretty consistent in that burrowing penalty. There's now the ball out wide for Henry. Good player. Played in every game last year for the Warriors. Good shift of the football too. Deep in their own half. Playing football, attacking. Here it is. Mateo to Johnson. There's an overlap. Right side if they let it go. There were three on the outside. It was three on one. And Madalino just couldn't get it out there. Now Lula Wai with a juggle. Finally it reaches. Oh, you cannot stop him! Like a Sherman tank has knocked the wall right over. And the Warriors have come back from 12-0 down to hit the front by four. Comrade Hurrell. I'm not going to stop him. They dodge a bullet at the far end of the football field on the same side, the Warriors. A little bit of a limp there from Conrad by the look of it. But he hit the ball like a bullet himself when he went through the line. It started on the left, and some good ball movement there. Matalino was like a three-quarter running wide. I had a question mark on the pass from Lulawai, but no one else did. And Harrell finds himself in a hole, and a great angled run back in towards the channel, squared himself up, had players in 
Lau Mappy on the outside. Thurston couldn't handle him, nor could his good mate Bowen. And he charges there. And another kiss for Mum from Conrad Hurrell. The Warriors' lone try scorer last week against the Sharks, but tonight he's got one that could really mean something. He's put the Warriors in front. I'm just doing a quick check. That, that's the first time this year they've been in front of the game, the Warriors. So they're in the, the foreign territory as far as score lines are concerned. And Johnson with another big one. Well, you tell us, you, you're there at Warriors training, you do a bit of kick training. The work that he's done since the disappointment of two weeks ago, has it been any different or he's just gone through the same routine? He's been in a process now since the pre-season, which has seen a pretty healthy workload. The results haven't been there for him. The first two kicks for Sean were mid-range, and he struck them pretty well, so that'll give him some confidence. Should have had a good look at what Jonathan Thurston did from this side of the football field in the first half. Big kick. 27 minutes remaining. Here is young Johnson with a kick for a six-point lead for the Warriors. 22 out. Five in from touch. Sean Johnson lands the kick. Three straight converted tries. They lead 18-12. That's the icing on the cake as Harold scores it. But I really like the attack up there. Attack the left-hand side with good passing and then shot the ball over to the right. And you see him there, a jump and a catch in the air. And he only knows one way when he's playing his best. And that's straight ahead. And the kickoff is over the dead ball line on the floor. And Jonathan Thurston can't believe what is happening here as the Cowboys unravel. And the Warriors, well, they can settle him. They can gather their thoughts. Here's the restart. Foot is planted there by Lott. Well, you only just, he took his time to get the right foot grounded. Of course, the position starting to square up for sure. Pirinay, sorry, Pirinay, where's he been? Gorinay onto the football field now. Yeah, whatever. 15 metres out from the line. It's been a long while for Halligan as commentator since he's seen the Warriors win. Here's Hurrell. Five minutes away from the line. 268 days, days it's been, by the way, in case you're counting. Ball comes to centre field. Nice ball. Lowry made quite the recovery. He looked down and out earlier in this second half. But he's OK now. Got an A. He'll enjoy this with the defence on their heels. Johnson's pass to no one. Oh, it was attacked by Fai Fai Waller. The tackle count restarts. His Cowboy teammates, Michiana picked it up. Lock goes across field. He's almost run the width. He's offloaded. Harrell's coming again. A Sherman Tech gets another move. Eight metres away from the line. Got an A. The centre field for Mateo. That is Johnson. He steps away from Tate, who rushed up. But Johnson is roped in 11 metres from the line. Warriors lead by six. 25 minutes remain here. An exciting one in Monday football in Auckland. And that time, Tate. Smothering tackle. And played by Locke. They got an A. They go short side. He got a try two weeks ago against the Roosters, Peter got an A. He's a sneaky little player. Lillowai, Mateo, on it comes for Johnson, gets the kick, here comes Bowen, Bowen dives, he's got the ball, look out, Bowen's up on his feet, and it's wrapped up by Menno. You've got to say there's some good D going on that there by the Cowboys, and it's had to be as well. Their line speed in particular in that set of six was outstanding. They stopped the ball on both the left and the right sides, their wingers and centres in conjunction. And now the Cowboys get a roll on with an offload. Tamo puts out a fin to no one. Now he, he did the dummy fin. And he's tackled 15 short of halfway. Possession is now 50-50 in the game. And it was 61-39, not long before halftime. First and Knight, exchange with Bowen. He needed support. He's tackled by Taylor. And the second tackle is penalised. They were straight onto it. Henry Perinara. And now it is the Warriors' turn to defend. So after absorbing all the Warriors attack, the Cowboys, they get a little sniff and a little opportunity. Bowen, a nice little interchange with Thurston, saw him scoot up through the middle. It was brilliant. Cost Jason here, and this is the interchange we talked about. Bowen just catching the pass like a nipple pass. Thurston looking to promote. Scott, the player 30 metres out from the Warriors line. 
possession stats have really turned around. But right now, most importantly, it's the Cowboys in possession. They, oh, they take well, not for long. Matty Bowen has put it down. The Mingo went bad there, Daryl. And it will be a Warriors scrum feed on their own 20. They don't taste good, do they? They're bad off season. Mingo. They're off season. Out of season. Poor old Matty Bowen. He hasn't had a lot of running metres in the first half. Trying to get himself back into this game in the second half and look what somewhat of a set play where they shifted it to the left and have him run back across on an angle Thurston was on the left just possibly thinking about what he was going to do with the football instead of catching it yeah remember back to the first half where Bowen had that ball that came back with ricochet that if he gathers in they score it didn't quite happen for him so he's he's just a little out of sync here Matty Bowen but uh, plenty of time for one of the real magicians of the NRL to make up for it. With uh, 22 minutes to go now. And a reminder, Warriors stats inside the final 20 are not good. They've only scored three tries in total in their last 11 games in the final quarter of a game. That is alarming. It could all change here. As so Taylor is tackled just short of halfway. And the Godinay, on it comes for Lowry. Lowry to Lillard. Quick hands for Mellard. That's gone forward, but only by only by about three metres. It was clumsy, wasn't it? Looked a little bit ordinary from Simon Mannering. He was flat in attack, and they shifted the ball back across the ruck, and then he found himself facing the wrong direction when he went to pass the football. Lowry was a nice tip on and Lillard provides the same to Mannering, however, it's behind him, which makes him reach back and turn around. And when he faces to look out at the youngster who's in front of him, he somewhat throws a forward pass, to say the least. Yeah, they could call forward on that one too. I mean, if that was in towns, all the Cowboys fans, I reckon, would have been crying blue murder because Cooper had latched onto it. The, the Warriors hadn't cleaned it up from the forward pass, but uh, they were quick to blow the whistle. So Moore is back on, and this is Tamo, and Tamo's stats tonight... 13 tackles and a dozen hit-ups. Double figures also in both counts for Matt Scott, the starting front rowers for the Cowboys. He's now played by Cost Jason, so both Cost Jason and Moore still on. And uh, the Cowboys have possession. And Cooper was hit hard by Vladimir up top, Lulawai down low. Moore playing it close to the ruck. Now he takes off a cross field. He's linked up there, and it's been put down by Linnett. And the Cowboys starting to make error on error. Both teams fatiguing. Guilty of poor ball control here. And I've watched Simon Mannering here in the last couple of minutes since he passed that ball forward. And he was the one covering from the inside. He was also the last player to push the whole edge up and shut the Cowboys down. So some real energy for him. Energy as well as Rapira gets a boarding pass. Yeah, using their bench players. Tarek Sims out there for the Cowboys. He's had to wait until the final quarter to get into the game. Simon Mannering's tackle count tonight is 26. Just three behind Nathan Friend. I don't know whether Nathan Friend will be back on now for the remainder of the game. He may, he may close it out with Godinay, who's there at dummy half again here. Friend has done very well though tonight. He's come back from the shoulder problem. So 15 metres inside their own half. The Warriors with Godinay to centre field, but Johnson just dumps it off. And they go back to the textbook, I reckon, for this set. Get themselves field position. Godinay off loads to Lowry. And Lowry to halfway. The last time these sides played, round 23 last year, the Cowboys scored 52 points. Their biggest ever win over the Warriors. 52 to 12. And now you'll find the Warriors in front by six here. The high ball from Johnson. It's a mighty kick. Up they go. It's going forward. The Warriors with the ball. They said play on. And the Warriors have got it five out. Now the call comes for a knock on. It's got everyone confused. I don't know whether they're going back to the first one. They are. It, it certainly looked like a knock on the first one. It's almost Kev like he was playing up to the crowd, the Badger. Kevin Lockett was, who gets up and contests the football. Watch his hand, his left hand. Well, I thought it touched it. Did it? Maybe not. Ben Henry, quick to scoop it up and play on. Let's have a look. 
Maybe he's given it a whiskey and a clean miss. And Fai Fai Loa's shoulder has hit it. So the Cowboys, they dodge one. There is so much football left in this game. At 18-12, 18 and a half to go. North Queensland's completion rate now is uh, below the 70% mark. This is a side coming off back-to-back -back losses. Scott was rolled over. Referee says milking. So play on. And James Tamo has another run. Brown thought it may have been forward. 12 metres inside their own half. North Queensland. And uh, Cost Jason with a dummy and straighten. And it's held. Five short of halfway. Now Thurston on the right side. Thought about kicking. Then Bowen. Quick hands. Beautiful. Takes away. Takes away from Henry. Bowen's in support. The Cowboys have butchered it here. A brilliant pass from Bowen to Tate. And Tate gets on the outside of Henry. And now he's sizing up his options. Well, he had too many options. Bowen had got himself into a good position. And Fai Fai Loa just comes into the frame when Tate passes the ball that's intended for Bowen. And Fai Fai Loa sticks his hand out and causes a little bit of a deviation in the contest with Locke. Big call. Last tackle. They ran it on the last as well. Oh, that was try. That was try all over. With Bowen inside and Fai Fai Lua there. And, and Locke just held his nerve. He hoped. He hoped that something would go wrong. The last 10 minutes has got a bit messy in terms of ball completion and ball control from both teams. And I was just about to mention that the discipline of the D-line is really important when games get like this. You give away a penalty for inside the 10 because it's a sloppy game or it's been a little bit messy and it costs your team badly. Long way off, but uh, Warriors have back-to-back -back home games through round four and five. They've got an appointment with the Rabbitohs next Sunday. If they can get past the Cowboys here, it could give them huge confidence to take on the unbeaten Bunnies. Warriors back to their 30, but losing has become a habit. You know, seven and a half minutes, well, it may as well be 170 minutes. It's a long way to go as Johnson offloads. Mateo's with the ball to the 40. You know, I don't even think 12 points is safe here. I probably don't even think 18 is safe for the Warriors. Do I hear 20? Do I hear 24? Here's Rapira back up the halfway. And now Johnson kicks to the corner. He was knocked off his feet mid-air. by by Lawo played it. And there's control. There is control from the Warriors, and it's not a word that's been used lately. Well, it's just a finish a set of six, such as the pace of this game. Frantic, one would call it. This place from the team today. Good second row feed, that one. 20 metres uh, out from their own line. And uh, first and off loading there to Cooper. In the week just gone by, Darrell, we celebrated the 32 year anniversary since the first player was Sinbin. Newtown's Barry Jensen. In 1981, Sinbin for five minutes for repeated scrum infringements. A walk down memory lane from the past week in rugby league as Thurston will kick from five inside his own half. Kevin Roberts was the referee, by the way. Darryl, the detective, and here is Locke at the back for the Warriors. What a fantastic anniversary. Yes. At least a weekend. Celebration, and, and everyone had to stop for five minutes to celebrate it. As there is Lamarpe with the ball. And he's just inside his own 20. Again, pretty impressive to kick. 19 years of age. This is this is the big stage against the Cowboys here at Mount Smart. And uh, Lowry dipping that on. Look, the crowd isn't massive here tonight, but you know they've played their part up to this point as well. They've rallied for the home team. As Johnson kicks from inside the 40, he launches another one. But they're onto it this time, and Witterstein is with it. A real defensive set of six for the Warriors there, and just 35 metres made in terms of advancement up the football field. So Johnson gets in and kicks the football downtown. Petrol slowly running out in the tank of both. 
the big men for the Cowboys. Let's remember they started with a massive pack here this evening. Doesn't seem to have taken its toll too much, and the Warriors have handled it. Another run for Tamo. Five short of halfway, and here is Moore. Goes short, and that pass for Sims. Back from broken legs in each of the last two seasons. This is Moore to Thurston. There's a chance. Well, that was four, was it, to Tamalolo? He went short. Blink and you miss it. More to Thurston. Cowboys look dangerous. Now Thurston the banana kick. Back to centre field. Locker's got it. Just out from his own goal line. Because Jason does it after getting off his feet. Two chases out for the Cowboys. Of course, Bowen was in the frame as well. Skirting himself around there. Thurston kicking from the outside in. So Cowboys play with all their little men, if you like, out there with Bowen. Cost Jason and Moore and Morgan, they're all on the field at the same time. Here is Godinay, and the Warriors will try, and then they do get a penalty. They wanted a quick play the ball. They wanted to have the Cowboys on their heels. Henry Perinara, referee, laying down the law, and the Warriors can soak up a bit of time on this one. So that's the one they call the bull, Jacob Lilliman, carting the football forward, popping one around the chops himself. This field position coming up for the Warriors over the last seven or eight minutes. And the introduction of the master and friend in terms of Nathan about to play. Yeah, meddling with the ball. I'm sure I'm right in saying when Lilliman made his debut with the Cowboys in 03, they lost the ninth by 70 on debut. The first game he comes in the first grade. When he came on off the bench, they were down by 50. You couldn't prove that, could you? On debut. 30 out from the line. He will know the answer to that. Don't worry about that. Here is Lillawai inside the 30. Johnson is lively. Has been all night to Taylor. They get a little cosy in the play there. In fact, he never even got it to Taylor. Johnson hung on to it. Now Johnson's been wounded in the head. But still on here for the Warriors. They lead by six. There is 13 to go. Friend is back on. Now only five away. I don't think it's field goal time. Last tackle, they want a repeat set. They go right side, Lillowise kick ricocheted. Have they got it back there? And played out by the Cowboys. I was going to say their ball had to go through, but a better result with six to come. There is Fortune favouring the Warriors here. Lillyman has tackled, five from the line. The crowd plenty vocal. There may as well be 60,000 here. Johnson's offloaded. And Elijah Taylor, met front on there by Tamo. That was a big hit. And goes flat across the face of goal, squeezed out the back, first and knocks it back. They're gonna say play on oh, no. Knock on against the Warriors. And the Cowboys will come up with a ball. So desperately looking for a wraparound play close to the post to then expand it possibly to the right. And the ball, Lilliman. It was his turn. Godinay, just a short spell. This is it here. Friend delivers, backs into them, shifts to go round Thurston. Around the top, as you call, Andrew shuts it down. Sucked in from the outside to close the football down. The scrum 10 metres out. Still almost 12 minutes to go. You know, in the modern game, that is time for four or five tries in some matches. There's been some... Some frantic finishes many, many times over in recent seasons. So Tate now with it. One of the try scores from the first half. That's the other thing. It's been an awful long time since the, scat the Cowboys scored. So many teams have gone through halves of football this year, kept scoreless. And the Cowboys are staring down the barrel right here, right now in this half. Although they get a penalty here. Warriors going on with the tackle. A searching little dart from the hooker and Moore. Sees Elijah Taylor just play on just a fraction too long. So in the NRL, nothing comes easy. So Elliot made the decision to put Friend back out there. Godinay has seen his last football for the night. And uh, the Cowboys start this set. One tackle in. 35 metres away from the line. And Tamo's got the ball and a, a grassing tackle there by Rapira. Moore goes left side. Thurston wanted it. Bowen got his hands on it. Bowen sort of tempting the defensive line to come up at him. 
plays it 21 metres out. Quick work as well. Morgan has to rope that one in. Taken over the top by Henry. 12 away. Cowboys trail by six. Thurston across field. Thurston to Bowen. The old firm. Bowen's kick. Fielded by Harrell. And then lost by Harrell. The Cowboys have the ball. Scott to Tamo. Tamo with a goose step. They're tackled eight away from the line. Crazy game of football at times. More to Morgan. Morgan out to take. Five five lower. Oh, he's bombed it. Five five lower. Has he scored it or lost it? They caught it forward anyway. Wow. Well, the Easter show's on in Sydney. It's come across the Tasman tonight. The roller coaster continues. Just when the Warriors thought they'd got themselves out of a set of six, Hurrell gets stripped. And then when the Cowboys think they're in, well, he's lost the ball in goal, putting it down. Maybe he's heard the whistle as well. Fai Fai La, who started the scoring here tonight. But the touchy give a good call with the forward pass. Conrad Hurrell. Yeah, he, he received the ball like he was in slips from the kick. Didn't well, particularly it. know what to do with it. Before he knew it, he'd lost it again. Well, he went from the penthouse to the poo house very quickly. <laughs> they win the ball 20 metres out from their own line, the Warriors. What about oh, some of the stats here? Tamo's run 140 metres, would you believe? Lau Marpi, 120. And for those who like the standard, Johnson gets it away to Lulua and Adam Mannering. Of these Warriors players, only Mateo and Lulua have played in all 11 losses. The ball goes away to Lowry. No one can remember what the team song sounds like. As Friend gets it on, and Lulua shoulders forward into Tamo. He's been strong again tonight. Jacob Lilliman, 20 tackles, 11. He goes back to Johnson. Long range. Comes up Tamo. Johnson gets it back. I didn't see a 40 minute field goal attempt coming with nine minutes to go. It was way too early, but the result was good. Six again. So, Warriors with Mateo. What a game of football. There's still another game to come in Monday footy when the Roosters tackle deals. Johnson again. They're eight in away, the Warriors from the Cowboys line. You've got to remember, Cowboys led this one 12-0. Warriors now up by six, little line. Look, he has been knocked off his feet. I reckon a shoulder from Tate has ironed out Kevin Locke. And yet no one has caught it. Now time is off. Look, he went for the kick, but I'm pretty sure it, he was just flattened. The up and in defence to stop the block play. Comes to the fore once more as the big guy suffered and Kevin Locke has not moved. Let's have a look. Lula White throws the pass and it's Lynette, Lynette. who comes up and puts the shoulder in. Oh, His yeah. arms are in the motion yeah. of tackling and that is that's fine. fine. That's, that's no fine. problem at all. Yeah, happy with that. Kevin Locke will say thank you very much for the pass to Thomas Lula White after when he regathers his breath. But it has everything, doesn't it? Just 10 to go. The Warriors say we'll have a crack at a field goal. And then the repeat set of six. They don't bother setting up for it again. We go wide. Welcome to the world of the Warriors, Vossi. This is how they play football here. Yeah, that's just a, a real good shot from Kane Lennon. Mind you, if he keeps the the arms down to the side, I guess we have a problem under the new uh, under the new laws. But he got enough arm involved in the tackle. Matt Elliott. He did actually get a win with the Warriors in the trials over the Broncos down in Dunedin, but that just doesn't count. In fact, that, that feels like a year ago. And for all the Warriors fans, we have to go back to July 7 last year against the Titans. 268 days ago now since a Warriors win. Maybe a long eight minutes as Kevin Locke hasn't moved at all. Doc Mayhew over the top. But now for the Cowboys. The architect for the next eight minutes step up to the fore. Yeah, is their big player in Thurston for sure. And while he's been scheming a lot, there may be some changes. Godinay might push himself back in and now find himself back on the football field in the fullback role. In fact, that's Pitter there. He's played a lot in the halves and fanned himself out the back many a times. He's the one they call Toppy or Nobby. He's a little bit wobbly. 
Doesn't look good, does he? No, not at all. Kevin Locke. We'll uh, follow that one up for post-match if we don't hear, in fact, before full times. They've got to know to come on. This is real decision times for the coach. This is a, a very important redeployment of the troops right now. We've got to know to come on. It's an and exciting time also, though, for a squad that's still getting to know each other and a real test for them. We're going to have to battle this one out to the end. They're down on troops. No better way to attack it. So Godinay will run on to fullback here. As the Cowboys in possession. And still eight minutes to go. Monday footy at Mount Smart. Can the Easter Bunny deliver a chocolate egg with two points inside it for the Warriors? Have I set it up nicely? Now for Thurston. Thurston for Bowen. Bowen's offloaded. Leonard's got the ball. And Leonard could run, could play Cowboys. Howell made the tackle. Bowen, Thurston, Thurston to centre field. They come for Scott. Can't offload in the tackle. Friend makes another one. 33 tackles for the night. 30 metres away from the Warriors line. Thurston decides to bomb. This will come down. Got an egg. His protection for Tupo. It's put on. No! They won't even check it with a video ref. The badger. The badge says knock on. Thurston knew what his option was at the start of that set of six. Now we've got another outside back down. But JT knew the bomb was on because Pitanay, oh, Pitanay for the second time, got an eight. There's not a big man just on the field, put him under a little bit of pressure. He left the ball for Tupo and tried to put some sort of block in. And then it was actually the hand of Brent Tate, I think, that gets to the football first. Let's have a look. Up they go. There, yes, the right hand of Brent Tate propels the ball forward. And just when the crowd thought... Michael Morgan was about to well, dock down. Lost it anyway, didn't he? Yeah. He doesn't even grasp it. So the pressure cooker. Ben Henry's got troubles out there as well for the Warriors. He's dazed. Ben Henry looks around. He, he, he doesn't know where he's. He's as if he's looking for his mum in the crowd. Ben Henry. Tupo's not good. I think the call is they have to get Henry off. I, I don't know whether they've got anyone to send on. They might have reached their interchange limit. No movement on the bench. Matalino's there. So Johnson now on the little way and away for Mannering. He's worked hard tonight. 32 tackles, 12 hit-ups for the captain of the Warriors. The ball comes back to Lowry. Gets it away for Mateo. Mateo offloads. Lowry gets the ball up close enough to halfway. And still 18 points to 12. And Henry is going to the sideline for the Warriors. But they haven't affected the change just yet. It'll be played by Rapira. So still Henry remains on the field. Little white bombs from 40 metres out. Will come down the wing of Ritterstein. Ritterstein has got it. Ritterstein is caught inside the 10 by the captain. And then Godinay gets his arm caught in there. He needs to sprint back to fullback. Needs to remember his position, his new position in the side. And Cowboys with Thurston. And then it's been put down by Talmalolo. And the Warriors have got possession again. And the Cowboys' completion rate remains under 70%. Wow. What a game of footy. The Cowboys now staring down the barrel of three straight losses. 21 metres away from the line. Lulawai. Johnson. Here comes the build-up. Warriors have used up all their replacements. The ball is picked up by Tupo. Gee, you wouldn't want to make a mistake on the interchange now, win the game and lose the points. Penalty Warriors! Did I say earlier, Johnson, he's got to knock a monkey off his back. Well, he's got a chance to shoo away the gorilla right now with a shot at goal if he wants it. So when things weren't really going your way, finally, with a little bit of perseverance, a call comes. Brent Tate, not the happiest camper in town. Neil Henry counting the minutes down. The Warriors, for sure, decide to have a crack at the two. 
Let's have a look. Tupu clocking up 150 metres now. A twist and a turn. And as he gets up to play the ball, Tate's all over him. Won't get off him. Reef's in there. Adjudicated penalty. So they, they, they are playing with 12, aren't they, the Warriors? Henry had to go off the field because of concussion. They couldn't leave him out there. And the Warriors are playing with 12 men here. Just doing a quick head count. Across, they are playing with 12. They cannot bring another player on. They're not about to put a bloke with concussion back on, and I applaud the Warriors for that. They're putting the welfare of the player ahead of the cause of the team here. And now Johnson with a kick from the same side of the field he had two weeks ago at Eden Park to force a match to extra time. He's a little closer into the post this time. He's kicked three from three tonight. This for an eight-point lead. 22 metres out. Ten and a half in from touch. Western side of the ground. Johnson sends it on its way. Johnson puts the Warriors in front by eight. And Daryl Halligan, and the kicking coach, have a pat on the back. Sean Johnson have a pat on the back. A remarkable turnaround for the young man. And so deserved. And Thurston, he'll go short here. Here he goes, Thurston. He'll attack them on that uh, right-hand side of the Warriors. Here come the Cowboys. Leonard has batted it back. Hello, the game is still well and truly alive and kicking. Tomalolo with the ball. He's only 20 metres away from the line. 20 to 12. Inside the final three minutes. More to Thurston. Thurston out the back. It comes. Morgan offloads. Take the lever dash at them. Johnson is there to make the tackle. Still tied for the Cowboys. And uh, Morgan to Thurston. Thurston, look for Thurston and Bowen to combine in a moment on the left-hand side. Unable to offload Darius Scott. He almost lost it. Moore's at dummy half. Tamo is the decoy. Here's Thurston. There's Bowen. He offloads the old firm. Winterstone scores in the corner. They will check it. But Winterstone is confident. Badger's got just about everything right tonight. And he's caught a try there. But I think the Cowboys have scored through Antonio Winterstein. So just checking, touch and goal on the grounding. The try's been called, and it's deserved as well for the Cowboys. They've added to the second half. It's been a long time since they scored a try. Here it is, ball in the right hand, inside the field of play. Beautiful work from the winger. The attention of Lau Mappi pushes him out. And just as we are, that's perfect stuff, isn't it? Lovely shots from the camera. Soon to be the green light. Yeah. Good execution from the Cowboys. And the they clock, found their man. The clock is stopped all the time as Witterstein dived to score here. Auckland-born winger in this Cowboys side. But this is a Cowboys try. Now, now hang on a second. Now, there's something wrong here. Now, Thurston has already got this on the tee. Now, you're not allowed to do that. You've got, he, yeah, he's got to wait for the referee. He cannot just move in and kick the ball. And now Badger is in position. He already had the, the ball on the tee and at the back of his mark. And Thurston has nailed it. Now, the, the so, Warriors would have right to complain about that if we get down to Cowboys coming up with something in the final 10, 20 seconds. Well, you have 90 seconds to set the ball up and take the kick from the time the try has been awarded. Yes. So there, that's your equation. But yeah. now we've got one minute 40 left, which is 100 seconds. But as you wait for a verdict on a try decision, you can't have the ball on the tee and already at the back of your mark ready to move in. And that's what Thurston did there. So Johnson, boy, there's a little bit of more drama. A little bit to go here. What the football fan in me wants it to go to Golden Point. It's 20 to 18. There's just over a minute remaining. And the Cowboys have the ball. 25 metres out from their own line. Friend, I thought he was going to be penalised. Now Thurston will try to ignite them on the right-hand side. Quick hands. It's been put down by Tate. It's been dropped by Brent Tate. With one minute on the clock, the Cowboys aren't even rushing to form the scrum. Does that mean they're thrown in the white towel? There were numbers to burn on the outside of Brent Tate here. Thurston knew it. So they throw the pass. It's Morgan. The pressure. I'm not too sure who the defender was. 
It might have been Nani Laumapi who comes in and puts enough pressure on Michael Morgan to force him to pass the football. And Tate can't handle it. Had a wow of a game. What a weekend in the Telstra Premiership. The two teams that hadn't won a game. The Dragons and the Warriors are both going to come up with victories over top eight sides from last year. Tupo with the ball for the Warriors. Just about an entire nation counting down the clock here at Mount Smart. 25 minutes away from the line. Friend on for Lowry. Oh, he runs around the back of Rapier and no defender in Peter. See, it's been a long while since they won again. They don't know how to close one out. Another big Friend breath. is away to Mettering. Mettering will be held out by Taumalolo. And this is it. The countdown on. They've done it. The Warriors have done it. 268 days without a win. And the team now coached by Matt Elliott. The third coach they've had in that period. They have come back from 12-0 down to beat the Cowboys here by 20 points to 18.